Hello guys, welcome to Technox. In this video, we are going to see some important features and we'll also change few settings which enhances user experience of Xiaomi users. User experience will not be great if an UI is integrated with ads. Most of the Xiaomi phones contains ads in MIUI. So we are going to disable some ads and also get rid of annoying features. We'll also look into privacy settings to keep our information private. We will start with the key aspect, privacy. Privacy is the main concern in smartphones nowadays. We cannot control the things which are not in our hands. So at least we need to change the settings up to possible extent to secure our data. In order to provide personal ad recommendations, they will collect and monitor all the user data. Go to settings, open password and security. Click on privacy. Turn off these two options here, user experience program and send diagnostic data. Then open ad services, disable personalized ad recommendations. The next is ads in UI. As I said earlier, getting ads in the UI is the worst part. We get video recommendations while watching videos in gallery. Anyway, we can disable them. For that, open MI video app. Go to settings, turn off all the recommendations. That's it. From now on, these ads will not appear in the gallery. Gone. The next thing is blurred previews. When we access the recent task tab, by default minimized app content is visible. If we enable the blurred preview option, the content will be blurred on this minimized apps. To enable that, open settings, go to home screen settings, click on blur app previews and select the apps of your choice. Now the minimized app content will not be visible. For me, the most annoying feature is opening browser on swipe up gesture. In regular usage, annoyingly, we swipe up on home screen a lot of times. To get rid of this, just open settings, go to home screen settings, and turn off this option called swipe up on home screen to open search. This particular option in Wi-Fi settings gives the maximum network priority to the current application over the background apps. It would be useful especially while gaming or doing any important work online. Open Wi-Fi settings, click on Wi-Fi assistant and turn on the traffic mode. Here we have two modes, one is regular and other is extreme mode. Select the extreme mode, that's it. This restricts the background apps from using the network. Volume settings. We have couple of volume settings on the home screen itself. Apart from adjusting volume levels, we can turn on or off silent mode and DND mode here itself and also set timer for those two modes. If you are using MI browser as default browser and sick of this annoying content, simply go to browser menu, turn off content feed. Now content will not be displayed. If you want to change your default browser from MI browser to any third party browsers, again go to browser settings, turn off set as default browser option, you will get switch confirmation dialog in the bottom, tap on switch, click on clear defaults. That's it. You can now set any third party browser as default browser. Wi-Fi calling is on by default in most of the devices. You can check this settings under sim card and mobile networks. Open SIM settings and scroll down. You will see an option called make calls using Wi-Fi. Make sure you turn on this. Keep this option on all the time so that it improves call quality by using Wi-Fi networks. At present, only Jio and Airtel network supports this Wi-Fi calling feature. In recent times, we have seen different styles of notches and some of us don't like them as they disturbs viewing experience. For that, we have hide notch options under display settings. Click on notch and status bar, tap on hide notch. The first option is don't hide. Second option is hide without moving status bar. 
Enabling this option will fill black color in the status bar and icons remain at same place. And the last option is hide and move status bar. In this option, status bar comes below the black color bar as if screen starts from there. We can also customize hide notch option for individual apps. Redmi Note 9 Pro has additional option called clear speaker. If your phone fell down in water, take out the phone and immediately turn this option and maximize the volume. It will try to flush out the water from the speaker. We can see this option in additional settings. If you find this video useful, do not forget to subscribe and click on bell icon. Thanks for watching. Save trees, stay awesome.